coming up. Somebody said, oh, all right, we keep as many letters as possible. So we use the word party. Because now P-R-A-Y, that four letter is kept in the party, right? P-A-R-T-Y, although the permutation is, is changed. So you use party as the fourth guess and see how you score. All right, I'll tell you the score. Okay, that score says you now have three yellow. Now, that's interesting. You actually lost a bit correct information there. You had a one red, but now that red become yellow. So whatever that right letter in the right position was moved away from the right position. So what did you move away from the praise? You moved the A away, you moved the R away, right? And you moved the Y away. Ah, so that is the clue. You say, ah, perhaps one of those A, R, Y could be the red position before in the right place in praise. And you need to keep that in your head and see how you make out the next round. Now, again, at this point, it's up to you to decide what other word you want to play and uh, whether you can uh, sort of maximize your, your information uh, deduction, okay? All right, let's see the next uh, word, okay? We'll try a slightly different word and uh, keep some of the letters and try to correlate with the first word, say house, so we use say, uh, uh, spray, okay? S was in the house, all right? The P-R-A-Y is in the party and spray. So you say, well, let's do that and see whether uh, you increase the correct uh, guess or not. Let's see what the answer is. Let me tell you. The answer is, okay, one red, two yellow. So you are now back to one red, two yellow. That means one letter is in correct place and two letters not in correct place. Now, if you see the spray, the RA uh, position, and uh, it correlates same as the praise, so RA, okay? Ah, it, that could be a clue because when you had a praise, you have one red, the spray also one red. Is that possibly, you know, somehow one letter is, is correct? Okay, now, in this slide, okay, this spray, I actually think there's a mistake in the answer because I already deduced a bit. I think there's inconsistency. Probably it was a typo in the screen. Is instead of one red, two white, uh, two yellow, it's actually two red, one yellow. So can we correct that, please? I think it's a mistake. Okay, all right, maybe it's not. I didn't get any, <laughs> any correction, so maybe I am thinking on the wrong track. So we'll keep that score, one red, two yellow is correct. Okay, no mistake on spray. So what's the next word then? Ah, okay, we try sport. We take away the A, change in the vowel, okay, and see whether uh, you get any more uh, guesses correct in, in uh, correct guess in this, uh, this game. Sport, hmm. O was in house, okay, and um, well, let's see the answer that feedback you get. What is the feedback? Oh, two red, one yellow. So that is making progress, okay? That is very good. So let's see what the changes we have made to, uh, make, to, to score one more red. Uh, spray and sport. We 
replace the y with t, okay? And uh, we uh, changed a to o, okay? Is that is good. So we probably could figure that the s and t and r, which are, are there and uh, you know introduced or originally was there, most likely are the right position. There's two red, probably are those two right positions. All right, so the next one, you again try to do a permutation. Say we do parts, okay? Parts, you kept the P, you brought A, R, T, you kept the T, you kept the S because remember S, T, R seem to be correct, but you permutate them so to test whether uh, you retain the correct letter and figure out whether they are in the right or wrong position. So what parts give you as a clue? It gives you a clue as four yellow. Wow, that making, that's making progress. Out of five letters, you got four correctly now. P-A-R-T-S, the four letters correct, okay? And which one is not correct, you probably can begin to you know, see this, all right? And this is very interesting. At this point, I will give you a little more time as the audience to think about it. Maybe at this point, you're almost uh, uh, there almost there to hit the correct uh, word, okay? And if we have our telephone line, which is open, although uh, it's a 962-5313, uh, but we can't really uh, answer the call and do this show because this show will be uh, broadcast in a later time. So anyway, if we are doing this in real time, this will be a fun game. You will be sitting there with a pencil and paper and thinking very hard, raising the clock, and say, wow, I got it. I got to call them. OK, let's see what's next word you would try. OK, we try, OK, instead of parts, we again do a permutation. We take one letter out, say start. OK, the P could be the, uh, the uh, letter that is not uh, correct, because if you think about it uh, as a P-R-A-Y, P, uh, you know, party, spray, and so on and so forth, all of them are seem to be on the three correct letters, not four. And this, you know, at the point when you get the four uh, as parts, um, you want to sort of make sure, is P in or not in? So you change that, you make a start, and tells you the start gives you four red. Means four letters are in the right position. By golly, at this point, if you cannot figure this one out, this one out and you better sharpen up your brains, okay? I mean, if you got four correct letters in the right position, either S, T, A, R, the last T is wrong, then it would say star something, stare something, but you got to make sure you use the previous clue, okay? If it's not the last letter, let's say it's the first letter and something T-A-R-T, -T, sometimes just because your vocabulary in your head tells you, hey, that's not possible, there's no such a word, or so on, you would have ruled them out. So you start thinking about it, okay? And in many words, what other words say end with uh, A-R-T, or what other words start with S-T-A, and that's how you start raising your, your brain, uh, try to figure out. At this point, I think I know the answer, and probably the audience that uh, in, in the studio playing knows the answer. Okay, tell me the answer. What the answer? Or guess another word, see whether you hit it correctly, all right? Now, one audience says, change T to M. You want to try that smart, okay, S-M-A-R-T, whether you got five position correct. Indeed, that is the correct word. 
Okay, let's have next slide, just to show you how this thing worked, okay? All right, as you can see, the first entry is house, which is one yellow. In that case, S was in the word smart, but not in the right position, so you get one yellow, okay? And the second word faith, and A is in there, and T it was in there, in the smart, but again, not in the right place, okay? So, now, praise, okay? And next, you can say party, okay? The three yellow, and then next, you have spray and sport, okay? And parts, and to start, and then smart. So, looking at this color chart, where yellow is showing you, red showing you, actually, you begin to see that actually, it's not difficult to deduce these things. The whole game, the whole idea, is train your brain to think, okay, logically. Keep the information, bits of information in your head, and think how to deduce this and quickly converge into a right solution, uh, answer, okay? So, that's our first word, okay? And uh, let's co continue on and play a second word. Now we'll increase one letter. This is five letter word, we'll do six letter word. All right, six letter word, and we probably need more space to, to, to put the guesses on, so we eliminated the six crosses. Just simply say, go ahead, tell me First word you want to guess. Now, you prefer player. Okay, fine. Player is your first guess. And I'm going to tell you what's your feedback. Okay? Player only gives you one yellow. That means only one letter correct in P-L-A-Y-E-R. All right. One yellow is probably the, the, the worst case situation that is information is minimum. It doesn't tell you that much. And you know one out of six is in there, but you know, you gotta start thinking six tracks. Continue, you know, on. Let's have second word. All right. The second word, what is it? Huh? Master? Okay, master. Master is second word. Now, I can see this player has some skills. Why? Because he kept ER at the end, okay? and change the first four letters. So that way he's trying to eliminate this uncertainty, sort of two letters at a time, which is a smart uh, strategy when you have, you know, already got one letter correct, you probably want to identify that letter pretty quickly. Also in that process, eliminate the letters that's not correct, okay? All right, the master also gives you one yellow. That means either ER is totally wrong, it's nothing to do with ER, but one of the MAST is right letter in the wrong pos position, then the PLAY would be one letter in the wrong position. Or you make the other assumptions, that, well, either E or R is the right letter. In both cases, will fit. So you keep that kind of logic thinking in your head to say, all right, which way? Of course, uh, if you really hope you can win fast and so on, maybe the shorter track is, is you know, uh, faster. But that may not be the right answer. Could be faster. But let's just, for fun, okay, we assume one of the E and R is a correct letter. And assuming P-L-A-Y-M-A-S-T are not correct letters. That would help me to eliminate eight letters right away and keep E-R, and I should permute the E-R position so I will get that one red. Am I right? Okay, if that's the case, let's have the third word. All right, see that? Third word, we change entire letter set, okay? And we get rid of R, we get rid of the R, and we kept the E, okay? Now, if the E was the correct letter before, then you should at least one yellow there, 
and otherwise uh, you will lose that one. Okay, the feedback to you houses is 